Today I'm going to talk about uh, man in the middle attacks and using Entercap with Wireshark in order to accomplish that. Uh, I have a lab environment here that I have set up and uh, this is the way it's set up right now. I have a firewall, um, I have two switches and a server and right now I have uh, this workstation I'm on so I can do the screen capture to show you um, is the pretend hacker. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to send traffic uh, from the server to the switch uh, via Telnet. Um, Telnet is a good example because it sends everything over the wire in clear text and it'll show you how devastating a man in the middle attack can be when you use an unencrypted protocol like Telnet. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poison the ARP table of the switch and trick the switch into thinking um, that I am the server and uh, that I am the switch. Uh, so basically logically what's going to happen is is that the switch is going to think I'm the server and the server is going to think I'm the switch therefore all communication will go through me and I can capture it right off the wire uh, using the two programs Entercap and Wireshark. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is fire up Entercap. Here I'll show you. Password in. And I would just say um, this is for educational purposes only. Um, this is in a lab, a lab environment and it is a proof of concept to um, better understand how network communications and the security of those network communications are important. So do not use this in a malicious way. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Entercap and I'm going to select my Ethernet interface. Uh, do that. I'm going to scan the network for hosts. Again, I have a very simple lab environment just to show this proof of concept. Uh, so here we go. We have um, it picked up several devices here in my, in my lab network. Uh, uh, dot 12 here is the server, and this is the MAC address of the server. Um, What's important is is that the switches use these MAC addresses. Um, switches don't use IP addresses. Switches don't use MAC addresses. And I'm going to capitalize on that technology in the switch. And I'm going to trick the switch thinking that um, I'm the server. Uh, switches are pretty dumb in that aspect. Um, but 1.2 is the MAC address of the switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a target uh, of the server. Then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to add the target of the switch. Um, that basically now, um, before I fire this up, this is going to put me into this logical uh, man in the middle attack here. Um, once I poison the ARP table of the switch, the switch won't know any different. Uh, therefore, all communication will come through me. And I can get it off the line using the application of Wireshark, which I'm going to fire up right here. Before I fire up Edercap, I'm going to fire up Wireshark. So I have this going. This is going right now. And now I'm going to actually poison the ARP table. And it's going to happen probably pretty quick here. Look in here and you'll see uh, the ARPs come in. Right there they are. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this up and I'm actually going to go to the server and generate some traffic to that switch and you'll see it uh, come up. Um, right now I'm on another machine logging into uh, the switch. Um, so I could be an administrator in a network closet and I wouldn't know any different that this is actually happening. So there, I generated some traffic, and you would probably see here, yes, there is some Telnet stuff that came up. Let me stop this capture. Um, right now, um, no one would know any different. I captured this off the wire. Um, the, inf the, the communications went through this device, and I captured it. And um, as far as the end user is concerned, it's, it's an operation day as normal. And the scary thing is, is that if I come back up here, um, 
right here is where I first um, injected the, the poisoned Ethernet frame onto the switches. Um, now the switch did detect duplicate IP addresses for these MAC addresses and um, so it's the MAC address tables don't they don't break it's just there's there's two IP addresses going to um, different MAC addresses and it senses that um, but it's going to act accordingly um, so here you see 7b which is the hacker address and it's saying it's also used by um, the MAC address 83 which is the server and it says, wait a second, uh, e, e, EA40, wait, that's the switch. And wait a second, that's also used by the hacker address. So you can see here and here, that put me exactly in the middle where I wanted to be. Um, again, the switch is only doing what it knows how to do, and we are capitalizing off of that logic. As I go down here, you will see that I did indeed capture um, some Telnet communication. And if I come into here and follow this TCP uh, IP stream, well, it's this TPC stream, you'll see that I indeed uh, captured everything. Now, Telnet is an unencrypted protocol. It sends everything in clear text, but it just demonstrates uh, the severity of what a man-in-the-middle attack can do if you don't have encrypted communications over that line. Um, you can see here that I passed the password Cisco. Um, I in, did an enable, I logged in, um, this person did a show config. I literally grabbed the whole configuration of this switch. Um, this is a lab switch, there's nothing really in it, but if there was information in this, I'd have it all. Um, as you can see, everything about every port of the switch. Um, VLAN information, uh, default gateways, passwords, telnet, all the whole the whole kit and caboodle, and then even furthermore, it goes in here. Like you can see, like um, I actually jumped into an interface and uh, did look, all the commands. It literally echoes everything out. Um, and if you're sitting there um, being a malicious person doing a manual mode attack, you literally can get every piece of uh, communication going over that wire. So there you have it. This is how to use. Uh, Cap and Wireshark in order to do a man in middle attack uh, to poison the Ethernet frames and, uh, and ultimately the MAC address tables of switches to do a man in middle attack. All right, I hope this has been informative to you. And again, this is for lab purposes and proof of concept. Um, use your information for good, not bad. Be ethical. Take care. Bye.